I think it's great. I think it's definitely like a good idea if you're like looking to get involved in the C++ industry to come, talk to the people, to meet everybody. Uh, you never know what can happen. So uh, I want to talk to you uh, about uh, what loops to hoop through to run MSVC on Linux using Wine and what could possibly go wrong uh, when you try to do this. Uh, so the first question you might ask yourselves is why would you even want to do this? Uh, well, um, there's a couple of good reasons. Linux has quite awesome I.O. performance. Uh, there's a lot less tweaking required to make it perform well out of the box. Forking is way faster, and when you compile, you launch a lot of processes. And we kind of needed it for a very specific and odd reason uh, I can't get into right now. There's a lot of reasons to not even try to do this. Um, I won't get into the, these details either, but, um, well, I went ahead and did it anyway. Um, and the first challenge is kind of like getting installed. Uh, Microsoft's installer doesn't really run that well uh, in a UI-less setting, and it doesn't run at all on Wine. And uh, I, I want, again, one more thing, I'm not getting into details. I ended up uh, basically re-implementing it in Python. Um, it's been great. It's a mess. Uh, when it was there, that's where the point, the things got really complicated, because it turns out that um, MSVC really likes to have the universe set from, for him from the environment variable side of things. And VC vars all, so Windows developers might be familiar with that one, is a beast. And it's way too complicated for as a batch script to even work on Wine's command line interpreter because it does all sorts of wonderful things. So this was another, another instance of like dropping it, goodbye, uh, writing it on my own. Um, when we went there, the fun really started because there is a bit of impedance matching required when you kind of try to have a CMake and a Ninja that run in Linux tell a Windows emulation layer to run a compiler with files sitting on the Linux side being, living in very odd paths in that emulation. Um, and so this is a command as um, CMake would issue to CLXE. Uh, as you see, there's a couple of interesting things going on here. Um, most notably, uh, MSUC is obviously a Windows program, and these typically ex uh, expect us to give them uh, command line flags with a forward slash. This doesn't mix well with Unix style paths. So um, we had kind of two pos possibilities. Um, take CMake, hammer it to make it do what we wanted, or build a smaller layer uh, that we named intercalaire, which is a French word for shim, basically. Um, and this one is a good old predictive parser, which takes command line arguments uh, and fills with them until it, uh, they look like uh, MSVC can handle them. Um, so it's, it's running on the Linux side. It's got a few dedicated parsers for a couple of the programs uh, in the MSVC tool suite. It knows about quite all the documented and a bunch of the not so well documented command line or flags of CL. And it does quite a lot more of funny things to, to make MSVC happy. Uh, but the real end of it is you give it, you launch it and tell it launch CL with that bunch of parameters. It does some magic and you end up having something that MSVC is happy with. So now, was it worth it? Uh, from my side, yes. I, and I suffered quite a lot, so I'm, I'm happy that it, it worked out. Uh, we get a choice of a much more and faster compute uh, on the cloud. It is actually faster than to run natively on Windows for using exactly the same machine, and considerably so. And we can do cross-cross compiling. Uh, so when you have a uh, x64 Linux host, you can compile for Windows ARM64, and they work. It's great. We can do distributed builds. Uh, so um, 
Microsoft, we need to talk. Uh, and it's wonderfully weird and it works and I'm really happy to say that you actually can try it. So you can sign up at TP Bill, the company I, I co-founded with Damien sitting back there. We'll be talking about this a bit more tomorrow. Uh, and you can pick any one of the examples on our website, swap out the target for Linux minus MSVC minus, uh, minus wine minus MSVC, hit enter, cross fingers that I didn't tell a lie, and it should work. Thanks. And again, go watch Damien's talk. Uh, there's quite more awesome in this. And uh, the distribution thing is really cool. Thanks. Bye.